Just get ready for work, 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 work. To me, I be work, 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 work. You see me do me da 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 da. Just tell me about that work, 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 work. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a honest, pure review of the Fenty Beauty products I got. So I got the primer, the foundation and a matchstick and that is everything I got. So this is the look I created with it and while applying the products I tell you guys about how I feel about it. This is a very, very honest opinion, so I'm not trying to bash Rihanna or the brand or anybody else. Um, this is just my experience, how I liked or disliked the products. So if you want to see how I created this look and what I think about the products, then definitely keep on watching. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell. And also check me out on Instagram. Everything is in the description down below. And let's get right into it. So yesterday I already wore the products that I got, but I found that they were a bit drying and flaky on my skin. So I'm gonna do something different today and see what works better. So I'm first gonna start off with a little bit of my Fix Plus and I'm just gonna spray that all over my face. Just gonna make sure that I have enough hydration on my skin. So yesterday on my nose area and a little bit on the forehead, I became a little bit flaky and I felt like the pores were a little bit more visible than other foundations. So to fix that today, I'm gonna use the Porefessional by Benefit. So I'm just gonna apply a nice amount and really rub it into my pores so that they are less visible. So as I told in the beginning, I bought the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Okay, so this primer is definitely a more hydrating primer. Um, but yesterday I still felt like it was too drying for me, the foundation. So today I'm just gonna apply the primer to this side of my face. And then on this side I'm gonna use my other primer. And maybe also a little bit of oil so I can really see and compare the two sides. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of the primer to this side. The primer overall feels more like a lotion or a moisturizer. It doesn't feel silicone-y or thick or... It just feels pretty nice. It is a pretty okay primer. Um, of course, I have to see what the other primer does to the foundation. And I maybe I'm going to try out the primer with some other foundations too. Because, I don't know, I don't feel like it is the best primer ever or anything. It's just a normal hydrating primer. So then for the other side, I'm going to use the MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance Base um, Lumiere Primer. <laughs> so the MAC Primer definitely has a more gel type primer feel. So I just want to see what the difference is with the foundation. I don't know why I'm applying it with my left hand. Okay, so let's move on to the foundation. So this is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. It says medium to full coverage for all longwear lightest air. And I got the shade 120. So on the back it says shake well. So I'm gonna shake it first. Also, I just love how the primer and foundation match in packaging. So yesterday I definitely felt like it was a medium coverage. But you can definitely build up the foundation. Um, I also wanted to say that it dries fairly quick, so um, I recommend to just apply a few pumps on one area of your face and once you're done with blending that in, just move on to the other side, forehead and so on. Because if you're gonna apply some dots all over your face and then try to blend it in seamlessly, you're probably gonna end up with a more patchy kind of... Uh, foundation um, so today I'm just gonna apply it with my beauty blender because I always apply my foundations with a beauty blender because I just don't like to apply my foundation or concealer with a brush I don't know why but let's just do it the way I always do it because 
I think that's the most fair shot for the foundation. Okay, so for the color match, you can see that it looks a little bit light on my skin right now. But once it oxidizes a little bit or dries down, it definitely is a very, very good match for my skin. So as you can see on this side, I have a little pimple going on here. And I just have a little bit of redness all over my face. So you can really see the coverage well. Um, I used about two and a half pump on this side. And I'm just going to blend it in. The consistency of the foundation is definitely a more liquidy type of foundation. Okay, so what I'm noticing right away, yesterday the same thing, is that around my nostril area, it just, I don't know, it just won't stick. And it really cakes up right there. My skin overall is pretty good, but around my nose area, I have some more texture. I will try and zoom in a little bit more for you guys. So this is two and a half pump. So I don't know if it looks flawless on camera or if you can see the texture, but I just feel like the foundation gives me a lot of texture around my nose area. Of course, keep in mind that I have studio lighting right here, so it will definitely look more flawless on camera than it does in real life. So looking up close, I would definitely say it's a more medium coverage because those spots here are still shining through. Same goes for here and the pimple right there is still shining through. Also in this area of my face, I have some freckles. And you can definitely still see the freckles. Now I'm just going to apply one more pump and I'm going to apply that to the forehead. Like that. And whatever is left, I'm just going to apply over the spots. I want a little bit more coverage. So that is this side done. I would still say it's a medium coverage because this one is shining through like crazy. Any spots too. I'm just gonna flip around my beauty blender and try to blend in this mess a little bit more. I hope you guys can see it. It just really is very cakey on the side of my nose here. I just feel like it's a little bit too dry for me. Um, I don't know if that is necessarily the good choice of words, but I just feel like it becomes very cakey on me. I will try and put in some close-ups of my skin. On the other side, I'm going to do the same, so two and a half pump. And this time I'm going to apply a little bit of the Tatcha Gold Camellia Beauty Oil. Apply a little drop, that is enough. So I definitely like this side better with a little bit of the oil and a different primer. Maybe it doesn't even matter what primer you use. But just a little drop of oil makes a lot of difference. So this is the side with the oil. And this is just the side with the primer and the foundation. can definitely see it that this side looks very matte and dry and then this side is very natural and luminous I also feel like it sheared out the coverage so what I'm gonna do is I'm so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply a little bit more on my sponge okay so this side definitely is better for me personally because it's just more dewy and it definitely looks more like skin and on this side it's really laying on top of my skin it looks way more cakey but still it's not ideal and also it just moves 
so much around my nose like on this side the cheek area looks flawless it looks perfect the forehead looks way better than on this side but the nose area is just i don't know what is happening i never have seen this before try and get some close-ups but around my nose area if i apply more product or if i swipe anything on top or if i even touch it the foundation just moves and it doesn't matter on which side it just looks so cakey i just don't understand why he's doing this and also in any crease or wrinkle of my face like on the sides of my nose or on my chin it just looks i don't know why he's doing this but it just looks so rough and it is not settling in the lines it's just crumbling and flaking on top of it and i have never seen this before i just don't understand why it's doing this so okay so in order to try and fix it i'm gonna apply my i'm gonna apply my concealer and i feel like my tarte shape tape is definitely way too dry for this foundation so for today i'm gonna use my urban decay naked skin concealer like on the nose area i just really have to apply concealer because it just separates and it honestly looks horrible so it doesn't have any problems with layering products on top it definitely looks a lot better but it is still pretty cakey around my nose area. I'm gonna set my under eyes a little bit. I'm using the RCMA translucent powder. With this foundation, I don't wanna set everything because it will definitely cake up even more. So I'm only doing like the really under eyes and the rest I'm just gonna leave because otherwise it will look crazy, I think. Okay, so the last thing by Fendi Beauty is this match stick in the shade Amber. I used this stick yesterday too. It is pretty dry, but it blends out pretty well. And I really like the shade Amber because it is a really cool toned shade, as you can see. I do feel like it blends out best with your sponge. Definitely if you still have a little bit of the foundation left on it. Not that it wouldn't blend out without the foundation on the sponge, but I just feel like it looks most natural that way. You can see it blends out seamlessly. The shade is very nice for my skin tone. So the nose contour doesn't look as good as the rest. But that is mainly because of the already cakey and messed up nose. So I do want to say that the product is very, very dry. Um, so I wouldn't use a stick underneath my eyes. Um, for the contour, it's fine. I mean, you can even apply a little drop of oil on top of it. But it just blends out seamlessly. It looks pretty good. The shade is stunning on me. So I feel like the matchstick is the best product so far um of course i don't have all the other products but for me definitely the matchstick is the only product i really like i just don't know what's going on in my nose I touch my nose or drag a little bit foundation just comes right off and mind you that yesterday i didn't even use the um benefit primer on my nose so it is not the poor fashional because yesterday I had the same exact thing happening. I just don't know why it's doing this. Okay, so yesterday I didn't set the foundation just because it is already pretty dry. But yesterday I wore it all day and when I came home, when I touched my face, it was a little bit sticky and it was moving. So I'm thinking maybe I should just apply a powder foundation and that will look better. I don't know. I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. So I'm just using the MAC Studio Sculpt Divining Powder. And this is the shade Light. Using a big buffer brush and I'm just going to dab it on my skin. I thought maybe it will make the foundation more flawless. Okay, 
Okay, so that definitely looks a bit better. Still around my nose area, it's very cakey. Anyways, I'm just gonna move on and I'm gonna bronze up my skin using the Hard Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. And I'm also using the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm using the Sigma Aura Powder in the shade Pet Name. And to stay in the Fenty Beauty theme, um, I didn't get any of their highlighters because of course I have my own highlighter line. But I definitely do have a dupe for Trophy Wife. And this is the shade Helios from my own line, Meraki Cosmetics. This definitely is a very, very, very yellow golden highlighter. So I'm just gonna apply a little tiny bit, see what happens. And I can always take a lighter shade to balance it out a little bit. I'm also taking a tiny brush and applying that to my inner corners. I'm also taking a bit of the shade Seabell. And I'm gonna apply that underneath the brows. And on the very highest point, I'm also gonna apply a little bit of this highlighter. Balance it out a little bit more. For my lips, I'm using the Jouer Saint Tropez Lip Topper. So I feel like the lip needs a little bit more color, so I'm gonna use Skinny Dip Lip Topper. And then this is the finished look using the Fenty Beauty Primer Foundation and Match, match Stick Contour thing. My cat wanted to say hello. The lights are too bright for her to look in. Okay, so let's start off with the primer. So this is the primer. The packaging definitely is to die for. It is super pretty. Um, I love the matte glass. And I just love the touch and feel of the brand overall. Let me see what it claims. Smooth pore diffusing finish extended makeup wear. So I don't feel like it smooths it smooths or it diffuses your pores. I just feel like it's a more hydrating primer. Um, it just hydrates your skin. It feels like a lotion too. So I wouldn't say it's necessarily smoothing or pore diffusing. So it doesn't really do for me at least. What it claims um though it is a pretty nice primer and i believe i paid around 33 euros for the primer is it worth it no if you're looking for the holy grail primer i wouldn't i wouldn't buy this one because i just feel like it's just more hydrate your skin than really makes your makeup last any longer or apply any smoother it is okay but if you really want to try it out you could definitely try it out but it's not like a must have moving on to the foundation same goes for the packaging i just love the touch and feel uh, of the bottle and just overall brand do i like it the color match is perfect. It looks really good. I just went off their website. Um, you can take a little quiz, sort of, and you can try and match yourself. That actually really worked good for myself. So I heard people talking about the smell, but for me, it doesn't have a smell at all. Um, do I like it? I think I already talked about that a little bit. It just really um, sits on top of my skin around the nose area i cannot use it because it looks horrible even when i applied my powder and concealer over top it just i think on camera it looks pretty good but in real life it just looks very cakey and laid on top of my pores and if i just touch it it will just come right off um it might be rihanna's primer i don't know um, I will definitely play around with it a little bit more, maybe mix it with one of my favorite foundations and see what it does. Um, but 
on its own, I just really don't like the foundation. And I don't know why, I really, really want to love it, but I've tried it for... I tried it two times now, and, and it just gives me the same result. Um, it looks pretty good in camera. On this side, it definitely looks and feels better on my skin. Um, I do have to say it's very, very lightweight. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. So that's a plus, but for me, it just doesn't really work on my skin and I have normal skin I don't even have dry skin so if you have dry skin I would definitely skip on the foundation because I just don't think it will work for you I just don't know how to make it work maybe it's just me I don't know and then the last thing I tried is the Fenty Beauty match stick in the shade amber and this is one of the matte sticks and I use this one as my contour, of course, you saw that in the video. Um, do I like it? I definitely love the shade. It is perfect for my skin tone. Even if you're a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, this will definitely be a very, very nice contour shade for you. It's a bit on the dry side. So um, if you have really dry skin, you definitely have to use a little drop of oil on top of the stick or on your beauty blender so you can blend it out easily. Um, it blends out very well. The color is really nice. I love the packaging. Of course, the packaging is magnetic, so if you have more, you can stick them together. So this product, I definitely recommend. Um, I didn't get a lighter shade to conceal and highlight because I already saw that they were a little bit drier and I just like a more hydrating concealer underneath my eyes. So again, if you have oily skin, it might work for you. If you have dry skin, definitely stay away from the concealing highlighting sticks. Um, one of my friends also got the metallic highlighting sticks. She said hers was pretty dry and she didn't really like it. If I have to say like a overall conclusion of the Fenty Beauty brand, I just think a lot of their products are more on the drier side and I think they focus more on oily skin types. I'm not sure, of course, I'm, I, I just don't know. Um, but I definitely think they focus more on oily skin types because all of their products are so dry. So yeah, that is my overall thoughts of the Fenty Beauty products I got. Of course, this is my opinion. The products can work way different on you. So definitely check out more YouTubers, more reviews before you make a decision. For me, the only product at this time I can recommend for you guys is the Matchstick if you want to use it as a contour because the shade range is really good and it just feels nice on the skin it looks good so yeah that is everything i wanted to say of course as i said in the beginning i don't want to bash rihanna or the brand i'm just here to give my honest opinion and i hope you guys can appreciate that so i want to thank you guys for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it leave me any comments down below if you tried out anything of the brand and if you liked it or if you're getting anything um i would love to know and as you guys know i always reply to all of my comments so again thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos and don't forget to follow me on instagram I post daily looks and also short videos on there, so definitely check out my Instagram too. And for the last time, thank you so much for watching, I hope to see you in my next one.